Dawn breaking outside the protection of civilian site next to the United Nations base in Juba, the capital of South Sudan. Police officers and civilian UN staff preparing to enter the camp to carry out a systematic search for prohibited items. If anything uh, happens with a uh, military nature, you handle what you can, okay? About 39,000 people live in the camp, known as POC3, after fleeing the ongoing violence that has affected the country for almost four years. The camp provides the security its residents were unable to find at home. However, at times, weapons and other banned items are smuggled inside, threatening the safety of the community. If you have a gun here, it can destroy the camp because if two people can quarrel, maybe they can fire this, uh, this gun is to each other. Uh, we don't like this to happen in this camp. About 20 teams of UN police officers are involved in the surprise search operation, explaining the process as they go and apologising for the early morning disruption. We are looking for weapons, we are looking for ammunition, we are looking for uniforms. Sorry to disturb your sleep. Most residents understand the need for the search. No one problem is a protection for our life. Some people will come there with knife and uh, hang. So it's good for us. Uh, the research is a case for the people. Uh, in order they can be secure. POC3 is one of seven camps established by the United Nations Mission in South Sudan to provide refuge to civilians who fled the violence that broke out in 2013. About 219,000 people live in these camps. Residents can come and go, but that freedom of movement also creates a risk that prohibited items will also make their way inside. A lot of uniforms, as you see, some ID cards, even Tetra, uh, and some machetes, and, uh, and some tools, and a safe. Uh, we also confiscated uh, or found some uh, homemade alcohol, but it was destroyed inside the POC. No firearms or ammunition found among the prohibited items this time around. The regular searches may be acting as a deterrent, although the discovery of military uniforms is a concern. This is a protection of civilian sites, so it's in, in the word itself it's, it's supposed to be a place for to be safe uh, and uh, not, uh, not a place to consolidate forces, uh, to plan uh, operations and so on. Uh, so yeah, and uh, this is also to show uh, our uh, counterparts on the outside, the SSNPS, SPLA, that uh, we take our responsibility serious. We, we are not taking sides in, in, uh, in, in, the, in the struggle. A struggle that UNMIS is working with the people of South Sudan to end as it continues to fulfil its mandate to protect civilians and build durable peace in the hope that the people in these camps will one day be able to safely return to their own homes.